Hi. A um, little bit different today. As you can see, another microphone. And I'm filming on my phone. Um, it's a sit with me coexisting edition. Because I have some time off today. And I like to, if I have time off, like accidentally, <laughs> I get into, um, I allow myself more to to just sit and think you know not always being in a rush and what can i do next what can i do now what can be optimized you know if i have time off on accident i just like to you know sit here and you know, just look outside my window and think <laughs> and i thought why not make a video out of it and take you guys with me on that i don't know what we want to talk about um also, there's nothing I can do on the side, you know, to, to you know, get thoughts on, like, or to talk about thoughts about that specific thing, like doing the dishes or doing the laundry. This will just be sit with me. And there might not be talking all the time. There might just be periods of time where I just sit and think for myself so you can do the same. And then we can see if this is something know that it works for you <laughs> and uh yeah helps you or we're just going to be like no nah, i like the other ones more we will see we will see <laughs> it's friday today and when you see the video it's probably monday so have a great start to your week um yeah let's just start with like update what's happening what's happening in my life right now um my weeks are currently split into um, doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, doing short form content for TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts. These are the reels you're all probably familiar with, um, or the TikToks or the shorts. And Mondays, I also have voice lessons, singing lessons, going to the gym, um, answering some emails in general and shooting the YouTube video. Uh, so the Monday is usually pretty packed. Tuesday, um, I usually get the first half of the day to myself to do whatever has to be done, cleaning, making errands, whatever. And then I go into the Twitch stream from 5 p.m. till 10, 11, midnight Wednesdays are usually a little bit more calm short form content here as well emails business meetings if I have them but let's be honest not all of business meetings um, I, I, I don't drown in business meetings <laughs> it's you know and Thursday again gym in the morning or in the, not in the morning in the midday and then uh, stream again same time as Tuesday and Friday, like today, usually is the time where I, uh, where my colleague or my business partner comes over and we work on our own company, which um, also wants to be run <laughs> or planned, you know, because uh, he wants to go full time in said company this year. And for that, we need to make money. <laughs> Simple things. Uh, if you, if you, like zoom out a bit or go into detail it's just you know thinking about stuff to to do um laying the laying route laying out the base work so you know having an online shop having all the framework having all the contracts everything 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 <laughs> and for the last past few weeks this was heavily focused on um, merch all on clothing for for Flynn, like for me. Um, this is this is the one I'm wearing right now. I'm not show you too much yet, since we are still in the developing stage, quality control and stuff. This is uh, this will be made together with uh, Well Life Creation. Is the company called a company where uh, it's basically artist management, but trying to do it on a very fair basis. Like how much money do you really need to take from an artist, giving the whole uh, basically the whole 
decision making process always so with the artist together always you know working in the interest of the artist which you know it should be the first thing in general but you know in the past you heard about contexts that are unfair or and so on and so on i mean the, the industry is changing you know but we we he his dream is to to you know if somebody would be able to live just doing what they love their art their craft whatever i'm not talking about just music or just dancing or just content creating just like the, the whole the whole spectrum um and that it, and, it, and it only is not done because the person does not know about how to manage it doesn't want to write uh like do all the tech stuff and blah 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 so we want to help or he wants to help there i at the start beginning too but i now have to take some time off of that because of other stuff i do <laughs> and to be fairly honest at the moment it's uh yeah the what i think people consider the grind because you do all the work for very little outcome monetary wise wise so you just really go on based on your motivation <laughs> your goals and you know the beliefs you have in what it can be and what it will be and whatever but it's not like every day you're going to be like oh easy life easy money <laughs> and it's not me complaining it's just me giving you a yeah just taking you with me on the journey and this is like the things that I think about right now, since these are the main topics that go around in my head. Um, you know, what can I do to monetize the content without, you know, being a sellout, without leaving my path of, of kindness, honesty, and, you know, holding myself accountable. And what is the best way, you know? So merch, obviously, clothing is one, you know, you give, you get something back, which is always a good trade off, you know, um, Twitch chat the other day, <laughs> uh, we brainstormed, uh, like for like these Patreons and tipping pages, you know, where you can, you know, don donate money to, to your content creator to get it to, you know, have them be able to continue to do that before they have. Uh, get money in with collaborations and whatever else um which would be the part where i'm right now um but i'm i, I mean i did i put a little i put a link in my link tree but i'm still on a i'm still not i'm not great at asking for money i don't feel like that's i, I just don't like it <laughs> so i'm thinking about you know how can i give you value back and how can i you know make a living of that but also at the same time there's also the thought of why would one have to make all of the content for free you know instagram and tiktok and stuff why should you not accept donations for it it's not it's not a must you know if somebody wants to support you feel free and i would be i would think if you don't need the donations anymore because you make money with let's say youtube ads or collaborations or advertisement otherwise whatever then you can always take it off which would be my uh, preferred path i don't want to take donations forever you know what i mean um and i don't want to have i'm not here to get the fastest and the biggest money out of that either you know, I kind of stumbled into this whole influencer thing and I don't think I'm an influencer at all. Uh, like, you know, I don't, I'm an introvert who learned to be outgoing. So I'm also overwhelmed by all the messages. And I also learned that I don't, I don't, I, I just can't answer them all. It's not who I am. I, I'm not the biggest texture and I'm also, um, at the end of the day, just a human who's, I, I'm just not able to take all of, you know, to help every single person 
and I think I'm also not supposed to. <laughs> also, I'm not, uh, how to say, trained to do that. Um, so keep, don't be offended or sad if I don't answer you or the M, because A, it's too much, and B, uh, if I if I start with one, I have to do it with everybody, and then uh, all I do all day is answering messages, and I'm not a therapist. You know, that's that's also the thing. You know, um, uh, with my content, I want to give you the smile, uh, give you, show you a, sp a perspective maybe of how it can be, and obviously, it's not like. I'm sitting here all day hugging everybody and I'm the happiest person in life, you know, but it's about being kind on a day-to-day -day basis and it's totally fine to be human too and have a bad day, be angry, be sad, be whatever, weird if you want to call it like that. But I don't like the terms weird and normal anyway, because what is normal and what is weird? You can't expect somebody to be great and then to be super normal in other parts you know what i mean and who decides what is normal anyway uh, i don't know <laughs> and i lost my train of thought um but yeah i lost it that's okay happens <laughs> but yeah this is all of the thoughts at the moment as of the 23rd of february um, almost two months into my little experiment of becoming a content creator um, full-time. And also I want to say, I said it in a stream yesterday too, normally you would have a job and then you do um, influencing or content creation on the side and when you have enough money to switch over, you quit your job. I quitted my job a little bit earlier, not because of uh, social media, <laughs> because of other reasons. And I was, I'm a freelancing sound engineer. So I thought, well, if the opportunity is here, why not take it, you know? Because obviously working on your own schedule, being able to yeah, change some people's life, even if it's just a little bit, is like, it's crazy, right? I mean, at the end of the day, all I'm doing is putting up a little video portraying how I either am, how I, how my friends are, how I aspire to be, or what I think somebody may need that day. <laughs> and now I, I, I got my train of thought again from the, from the, from a few minutes ago. Um, I don't want to make you dependent on me or build a parasocial relationship or whatever. I just want you to see the video and smile and feel better after watching it than you felt before. This is the simple thing. <laughs> Nothing, no deep matter, what it has to do, blah, 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 no tricks. Just, yeah, just simple. <laughs> and the end of it, I don't want to be a mental health expert. I don't, I'm, I'm not. But I, w I just want to spread kindness. But also self-love. You know, kindness doesn't mean that you're nice to everybody you meet out of your, out of like beyond the energy you are able to give. You know, it's, it's kindness is also not that hard to do. And also, I think the biggest part for me was to see or to notice that all of the times that I am, that I had the feeling or the notion or the spur in me to, to be mean to somebody, it was almost always because of something that was wrong with myself. Obviously, there are pretty plain things if somebody insults you. I don't talk about something like this, you know, or if you're, you know, but I talk about somebody who didn't do anything to you and is annoying you for a reason that it's not their fault, you know, for example, a roommate 
who wakes up early and is a little bit loud in the kitchen and you wake up from that and you're super angry about it but i mean it's your fault for for going to bed late and or not telling this person that you would like to sleep in or you can also just go out of your room and be like hey sorry mate uh, it's my fault for i'm 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 super tired <laughs> would it be okay for you to, to turn it down a bit and everything's cool but you know the first impulse might be to be angry so i always not always but i try to take, take a step back and be like okay why am i feeling like this and then i also say there were also the times where i said to my roommate i was like hey you know what today i'm just a little bit out of the out of out of yeah i'm just a little little like a little angry something happened i'm just not happy with myself today i'm sorry if i'm rude to you it's will it be fine if you just don't talk to me if you, if you want to you know if you want to avoid getting you know maybe snapped at um in, a, in an emotional way or also then he's then the other person might be like hey, okay totally thank you maybe you won't talk about it then you can talk about it then it's better um or you just be for yourself for a bit but you know i don't think kindness hurts you in any way if you do it within your boundaries and what would be examples of that for, for me for example hold the door open for someone be attentive to your surroundings and if for example an old lady struggles with her groceries just ask her to to carry them for her for a little while not if you're on vacation but if you're at home and you know maybe this person lives in your neighborhood or whatever um but don't do it don't give your number and let her call you every day to help her and make a job out of it I mean, you can do this too if, if it's your energy level, but I don't want to do this every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, tell somebody that you like the way their hair is or the way their clothes look or the way their energy is without trying to achieve something. It just takes some courage. I, I'm, also not, I'm also not doing this on a daily basis, but text your friend that you thought about them and you like them. Uh, not you like them in the way, but you, you, you thought about them and they're important to you without you know there doesn't have, doesn't have to be a conversation following that just be like hey i thought about you i, I just want to know you i want to let you know that i like you <laughs> i mean it sounds stupid and it's at the start but you know the more you do it the more you kind of like the idea about it too and yeah you know Make it like, and also disclaimer, you, I'm, I don't know. I'm a mid to end 20 year old human being. <laughs> I also don't know everything, obviously. And I don't, I'm, I, the least, the last thing I want to do is tell you how to live. Do whatever you like. Don't hurt each other though, uh, mentally or physically. That would be something I would like to ask you of. <laughs> But I'm just sharing, you know, this is, this is sit with me coexisting. This is talking. This is a monologue <laughs> where I don't even know what I said 20 minutes ago, but I know the feeling of why I said it. And maybe this is also for me to, to like half, half of it, it's for you, half of it is for me to reflect and to just speak about things. And maybe if you speak it, if you say it out loud, it's different when you then when you all, only always think about it. And of course, I would like to have a second partner here and make a podcast out of it to to have this like this back and forth, and not feel like so awkward <laughs> for talking on end like a monologue. Um, but I think this way might also be um, a nice way. <laughs> And yeah, these are the, the Friday thoughts I have. If you want to know a little bit more, <laughs> currently in the Twitch stream, we are playing Ballos Gate 3. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting 100% achievements on that done since yeah, it's just a very great game. And I would like to be able to say that I have all of the achievements in this game and this happens 
almost never. And this is my indicator for, yeah, this is a great game. <laughs> a very great game, a very different game. And, yeah. Now I'm, I've talked myself empty. <laughs> There's nothing that wants to come out anymore. So I think this is a good thing. <laughs> and yeah, I think I will, I will just leave you with that. And let's see how you like it. Let's see if this is something. Are you going to be like, oh man, Flynn, listening to you talk for 20 minutes. Poo, poo. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing start of your week, like I said. Or whenever you see this, start of your day, end of your day. I hope you have an amazing day in general. And we see each other next time. <laughs>